Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial about Cyril, which is a software about uh, processing your astronomical images. So you can find it on free-astro.org. You get on this page and go to the bottom of it and click on this li link to get it in English. Then you choose your oper operating system like Windows for myself. Download the file. When you get the file you extract it wherever you want and when you get the folder you open it in this folder you will find five other folder and you choose the bin one in this one you will find the executable file of Cyril you can double click on it and it will open Cyril uh, directly no need for installation uh, you may just uh, do uh, a shortcuts on your bureau or on your taskbar and it's done you just have to click on it and it and uh, you open it so that's what we're going to do. So today we'll see just a simple method to get an image without the darks, the bias and the flats. It's also how we experience the astrophotography when we are a beginner and we most of the time don't know about those frames and what the advantage they uh, bring us for the, the final image. But still, uh, when we begin we don't want uh, to do a too difficult job. We are, uh, you know, uh, impatient to get an image with uh, what we did uh, during the night. So this method will show you a very simple way and fast way to get a nice image without those uh, dark, flat frames, etc. So first steps, uh, if you didn't have serial before, is to create your working directory. So you click on this button, it will show you another window in which you will choose from here in which area you want to create this file, this folder. Uh, better to choose a route to do it, to do so. This is what I did. So this is how I name it. I named it uh, Repertoire de Travail, which in, in, in English will be a working directory. So you can choose any name you want, it's not a problem. When you did that, you click to open and it's done. So this is where serial will work and create all the files it will need to work with. So the first step is to convert your file. In this method you will also demosize, uh, not sure it's the right word, uh, but still I think you will understand. Uh, the way to get your image in color and not in black and white. So it'll work with the, the three different channel and you will have to know and you will have to tell him that it is a color sensor that you're using and especially in this case because it will be a DSLR row files. So we're gonna get those files. So I've pre-copied the files into my working directory before opening uh, Cyril. So hopefully you've done the same. If not, you just can click pause and uh, do it if you want to work uh, as I'm working here. And uh, get your file in this working directory and then we can, we can start to work. I have to choose here the raw DSLR camera files which are here. You select them, you open the files and then you get them here. You have to name the sequence that uh, will be created in this operation. I do so. You can as well do the same for different reason. If we are, um, if we're about to have a conversation or an exchange about the use of Cyril, um, it might be more understandable for both sides to have the same terms uh, if you have questions. So. For now, you can name them like this, and after you can, uh, when you're fa more familiar with Cyril, you can name them uh, however you want. So, light for the light frames, of course, and dem for the demosizing of the frames. Now you can click on convert. So now that uh, our files have been converted, two new windows appears. 
here they are so it's a little bit black and not really visually visual so we're going to change the uh, visual algorithm so we have a choice here and the best to use is the auto stretch one which will automatically enhance your histogram so as you can see it's not a very bright image very rich in signal but with the set stacking it will be different so now we go to the registration area we don't have to change anything about it it should be this way just have to check it and you can click directly to go register of course you can change and try another method of registration another algorithm it's not a big problem you can also choose to those different options that you have here uh, especially this one which is a new feature so especially if you're subsampled uh, you can use this one simplified drizzle algorithm so you can click on go register and up you go so now that our files have been registered we go directly to stacking hello as the registration you probably will not have to change anything here but you can have a quick look on it of the different stacking methods the different normalization and the Windsor Rise Sigma clipping for the rejection pixel and I will do another video about those and the use of the different ones that we have uh, but here we just uh, let on the st standard ones and we go directly for stacking so there we have our stacked image so now what we are are going to do is just to work a little bit on it and use the image processing function that we'll find here especially at the first step the color calibration we're going to find a little area like this one which is uh, which represent the, the best the background so uh, preferably uh, an area with no star in it where you won't find any part of the object which is purely the background so you click on this button use current selection and then click on background neutralization and there we go we have a brand new image which is more close to a natural visual but it we have to do some more and to go to the white balance to do it uh, you will to do it it's better to get uh, an area with uh, white with white points or white areas like this one but not too bright you click on the use current selection as well and click on apply and you will get a better image so that is done and now we're going to go on for example color saturation so these are the basic steps for exporting your image to your favorite uh, Triton software you can use it as global or you can choose any color uh, that you like or you prefer use to enhance a certain area of your object click on apply and there you have it so it's not really um, visible but it's uh, you know it's just a low signal image so there's a lot of uh, you know bad layers here it's only three 33 frames of uh, 58 seconds so it's not really relevant so now we're going to remove the green noise you stay on FH neutral click apply and there we go we have a better image you can use the other tools that still propose you here especially the background extraction 
if you have a lot of uh, gradient but here it's not really necessary and to finish the process we'll click on the histogram transformation so as you can see the histogram is really on the left so if you export the files like it is here uh, even though you have a visual that is quite satisfying you will get a very dark image mostly black and not really easy to get back to this point so you will have to transform your histogram so you can do it manually with the midtones for example or you can use the cog here the cog here will give you the auto adjustment histogram so if I click here it will come around here as you can see and then you click on apply and then when you're done with this there it is sorry I've been too fast then you can export your file save as like here you have to choose TIFF which is the best to export your file and open it in uh, Photoshop for example so M42 and just check it should be clicked on already so and then save it and now you have your image that you can open in Photoshop and process and try to get as better as you can so just to show you uh, the image I got with all those uh, I did in uh, last November is this one so this is a shot of uh, 193 if I remember well frames uh, treated with a uh, few dark flat and PS and uh, stacked with Cyril and uh, processed with the Photoshop so it's almost a little bit more than three hours of exposure so and with DSS uh, maybe I have it somewhere um, so this was the the, the frame I had with DSS which were really not exploitable in Photoshop I could not really enhance it and uh, get anything out of it so Cyril is really better than uh, TSS uh, it's, it's not that difficult and hopefully you will get used to it you will uh, learn it uh, fast uh, took me a few days or and still I'm still learning about it because there's a lot of uh, functions that I don't know of and uh, that I didn't explain here and uh, I will do uh, a new tutorial uh, about the pre-processing especially if you like this video if you comment it and if you encourage me to do so I will with pleasure so hopefully this video will encourage you to try to use Cyril and uh, will get your image uh, better than they were before and uh, like to see them if, uh, if if it's possible at any time you can join us on the our facebook page uh, french face facebook page but you have a translate button in underneath the comments so even uh, you're a foreigner just uh, come join us and uh, enjoy what we're doing here and uh, we'll be pleased to see your work and exchange about it and uh, our tips and uh, and difficulties we encounter using those soft or uh, doing our frames in the field so thank you for viewing this video uh, I hope you will look forward for new ones so I just need some encouragement and uh, comments below to help me improve my uh, English uh, my uh, mm, my talking uh, if I talk too fast, if I talk not really, uh, if you don't hear me well, I will try to do better next time. So thanks, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Goodbye.